Hey everyone, welcome back to another update on our DIY Sprinter Campervan build. So we've been up to quite a lot since our last video and it's Sunday so here's our next one. So what have we been up to Helen? Well we've been doing all sorts of things so it's hard to put a label on it but uh, getting busy finishing off projects and starting new ones and really getting to a place where we're going to be able to decorate it and put on our unique finishing touches. Yes so where do we start? Well, as you can see, we have been doing a lot of work on the lighting in this van. So we've got some really nice hidden mood lighting, which just really softens the look of the van and it makes it really homely when you're in here at night, um, maybe watching Netflix, doing whatever, it just makes it feel really nice to have the right lighting. They're all dimmable LED strip lights, so we can turn them down low for movie night or have them up bright like they are now for filming. We've also been working hard on our kitchen window, so we finally boxed it in, put the sides on here. So if you look in close, what we've done here is put some quarter inch thick ply and we've 45 degree angled off the edges there so it fits really nicely. And uh, we will be painting that as well. Um, We've also made this shelf here, so you can see these vent holes at the top. They are to allow the air to come through those holes because we've got windows behind here which are hidden. Um, so when we open up the windows, we'll be able to get some airflow through these holes. We've also made this partition wall which sits behind the driver's seat. And we wanted more wall space so that we could maybe hang some herbs or or pictures or something on there to keep that homely feel and as you can see over here we're going to continue that theme and we're going to build our petition wall behind the passenger seat for the same kind of reasons we want to be able to use as much wall space as possible for storage or decorative things to make it feel really homely if you follow along on our adventures on instagram maybe you probably noticed that we've got this border collie dog called kepler and of course he's going to be coming with us on all our adventures in this van so we've had to build in some space an area for him to sleep so what we're using here is an impact dog crate and we kind of thought about this before building the space we really like the look of the impact dog crates and we figured why not try and build this into our garage space because you can also collapse the impact crate and take it out of the garage if need be so Rather than us building a completely custom dog crate for Kepta to sleep in, it kind of makes sense to use something that somebody's already made and it fits in really nicely. So loving that. <laughs> Let us know in the comments what you think about how this looks in our space. We're quite proud of that, so yeah, love to hear your thoughts on that one. We've also been working on getting our bed in here because it's going to really help us visualise how we're going to use the rest of the space. So in the last update we just had the basic foam on the bed and now I've completely finished the whole mattress including a sort of foam topper and also if you come and have a look over here we haven't just got the mattress sitting on the bed base we've got this um, system for encouraging airflow underneath. So one problem that you get in camper vans and lots of RVs and boats is condensation that sits underneath foam and seats and beds and things and that can lead to mold and and damp in your van so this is a really important investment for us that's going to help reduce the chances of that happening while i had the sewing machine out i also decided to start making some diy window shades for our van so if you go to look up these online to buy window shades for a sprinter van they are really crazy expensive and although i'm not an expert with a sewing machine I thought I'd create some so the ones in the back are my first efforts and these are insulated blackout window shades so they're for privacy and also to help keep warmth in or out depending on the time of year. So we've been posting some updates of our progression on this van conversion on Instagram on our Instagram account at Trail and Kale go check it out if you haven't before and some people have been asking what size bed we've got because it does look huge um, and that is by design we kind of wanted this really nice 
space up here to kind of chill out and watch Netflix at night. And we've got two cats and a dog who are going to be coming on adventures with us. So we really wanted this space to feel comfortable and to be able to house our animals, our pets as well. So well, also, you know what having a big bed in a van means, don't you? Well, <laughs> <laughs> it means you get a big garage. Yeah, good point. <laughs> and yeah, because we love going on adventures, we've got a lot of adventure toys. So mountain bikes, skis, all that kind of stuff. That's going to be underneath a bed. So you're right. It's great to have all this space underneath too. So we're not going to tell you the size of a bed in this video. We want you to guess. So drop a comment down below. Let us know how big you think this bed is. And yeah. <laughs> we'll give you a shout out on the next video if you get it right. Unless there's hundreds of you <laughs> and that would be kind of a boring video. So we'll, uh, we might yeah. give you a shout out. On the next <laughs> Have a guess. All right. So we've also been doing these uh, really nice soft lighting in our flares. You can probably see behind here, behind us. Um, Again, that's really nice to have the soft lighting when you're chilling out in here in bed. Um, and we're going to be painting these flares very soon. Uh, these flares are from Flare Space and people have been asking us that as well. So um, yeah, the flares enable us to sleep sideways in the van as well. So that's really great. I'm going to be showing you the updates on how we're going to paint these flares very soon. We've got some big ideas for those. and. Uh, really excited to finally be able to do the finishing touch on this, touches on this van. Absolutely and hopefully we'll be in a position to update you on next week's video regarding what we're doing on these flares but if not stay tuned because we've also got some plumbing and electrical space updates for you which we're going to save for the next video because they're not quite ready yet. No we've got some really cool things to share with you guys on the electricals we're going to make a bit of a bit of a show of it down there in the garage because we spent a lot of time getting the electrics looking good as well as of course working so yeah we wanted to show that off a little bit down in the garage so we will reveal that as soon as that's done. Also if you wanted to see some of our smaller updates on the day-to-day -day basis rather than these weekly every Sunday videos on YouTube definitely go to our Instagram channel at Trail and Kale and on there we share a load of stories. So we've got a part one and a part two stories highlights. Go check them out because they've got some nice little updates of us actually working on the van and showing a little bit um, the kind of insider looks at what we've been doing and how we've been doing it. Yeah, definitely. If you're planning to do a van conversion yourself and you're doing some research, then that could be a really useful resource for you. Um, and also, if you see anything in our van that you're curious about, let us know in the comments below, because once we've finished doing this build and we've finished with the build updates, then we're going to be doing some videos highlighting specific features and giving you additional information about what we've done, how we've done it, where certain products came from, which could be really valuable if you're looking to do something similar. Well, that's pretty much it for this week's video. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like. It really helps our channel grow a little bit. And consider subscribing if you want to see more videos about how this van's going to turn out. Or maybe you want to see some of our old videos as well. Hope you enjoy watching them. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you next week. See you next week.